when I first started, I was probably 13 years old and not going out of my mother's purse. And uh, she came to me and, and she said one morning, give me one of your cigarettes. And I said, Mama, I don't smoke, my sister does, right? But anyway, and then she said, well, if you're going to smoke, you have to smoke in front of us. And so I quit, you know. So then after I had my baby, when I was 15, I had my baby, and I uh, took up smoking after that. And I smoked for a while, and I quit for a while, and then I started smoking again. And after I lost my husband, I quit smoking for about three years. And then my best friend Janice ended up with lung cancer. And there was nothing that we could do. And what did I do? I lit up a cigarette because I was so angry. I was up to about two packs a day, sometimes three, sometimes four, depending on the stress of the day. And I, uh, I just couldn't seem to give them up. One day, I tripped over my dogs and thought I had, had broke a toe. So I went to a doctor that, because my toe had turned black. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, I think you broke your toe, no big deal. But then a few days, week, a couple of weeks later, the rest of my toes began to turn black. So I thought, okay, well this ain't working. So I went and looked it up on the computer and decided I had gout. <laughs> I went to the doctor and I said, doctor, I think I've got gout. And he said, Sharon, honey, he said, I think you've got something a little bit worse than gout. And what I had was peripheral artery disease brought on by the smoking. I was just supposed to go in for a checkup, ended up my toes, I had to have all five toes removed. Do you want to see my toes? Sure. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I had, I had to have all five toes removed. And then I, they said I probably wouldn't walk again, or if I ever did, and they said I probably would never walk again, but I said, you hide and watch. But anyway, then I had to go into a wheelchair, and the thought of being in a wheelchair for the rest of my life was unacceptable to me. And I went to see my cousin Peggy, who lives here in Huntsville, and she told me about the smoking cessation class that they were offering here through Hope Cancer Research. And so I came and I thought, well, one more try. Well, so far since I've come, I have quit smoking. I don't want a cigarette. I'm like very happy and thankful that they were able to help me get off of them. I'm just, I don't, I just don't know what to say except thank you, thank you to the, whole, to the people who have helped me to quit, and thank you to God for them being able to give me the strength to keep going. on. I've lost my mom, I've lost my dad, I've lost so many people to cancer, and I didn't want to be one of them too. <laughs>